Okay, this is a question video. I'm asking for people to tell me what they might know about what you see on screen. Uh, someone had asked me a question about it, and I can't find any proof to support a video, which you'll find in the video description, claiming that there is a first century Jewish custom of a groom proposing with a cup of wine. The closest thing I can find to it is this thing in E. How, which is not uh, a scholastic source, okay? Supposedly written by Jenna Pope, who's an E. How contributor. All right. She says that the Erusim was a wine ceremony. That's not in the Talmud. I searched. I looked all over the Talmud under Erusim for any kind of reference to a wine ceremony of proposal. And it's nowhere. Erusin just means um, betrothal in Hebrew. That's all it means. It's the betrothal. It's a contract of betrothal. It does not mean wine ceremony. Okay? And then, you know, she's going through all this stuff about the groom promise and all this other good stuff. All right? I don't find any of that. I'm not saying it's wrong. I just can't find it anywhere in source material from the first century to back up what she's saying. Okay? And then these are her references. Okay? But that's not that's not giving me anything ancient. That's only talking about today. Okay? And I'm not finding anything in there that's good source. And of course nothing here. All right? So these sources here are not furnishing first century contemporary references, and there's nothing in the Talmud about it. So I don't know where she's getting the idea that it's a first century custom, okay, to do this, okay, for how the groom would make his proposal, especially since erusin means betrothal, not wine ceremony. So if any of you guys come up with any information from the first century that will back up this claim here, I would like to know. I'm not saying she's wrong. I'm saying I can't find it. So any information you all want to give to, to back it up, I would really appreciate. And if for some reason you can find in these sources she's listing as references, information in the first century, not current, first century. Any source material in the first century, if you can find it, I would appreciate knowing, because that would be an important tool in hermeneutics. Thank you very much for your time.